Let's see how we can really use the combination of a mind map and Kipling questions as a starting point for creating our mind map. It always begins with a question or project you have. You want to explore some idea. For instance, you want to do something with cakes, with pies, because you are a baker and you are an expert in pies and you want to come with something new. So what we do is just you take the ID and put it as the center of your mind map. Then you just draw the six question what, when, where, who, why, how, and you will try to find as many are of answers, but mostly single words, very important, to uh, really uh, be able to answer these different questions. So for instance, what can be a pie with meat, fruit, vegetables, creams, and fruit and creams, it's sugar, vegetables and meat, it's salty, but vegetables and fruit goes with vegan diet, maybe, or organic food. And you continue, of course, there are just some examples, you can expand them. So one word will lead to another word. So for instance, for the when, it could be a special event, like birthday, or it could be any time, or dinner could be the end of dinner, or could be the cake for a full dinner. And where do you prepare it? Where do you sell it? Where do you eat it? Can be in a shop, can be at home, can be actually uh, in a vending machine. And this helps you to really uh, explore all the ideas, not only that are related with these six questions, but also related with the where do you put? Like when you have to, you prepare it in a machine that rings a bell with a vending machine. And who can eat can be different type of people and they can be healthy, get, they can be sick. And why do you do it? For instance, you want people to, you, to enjoy, you want to feed them, and how you will do it. That will be all the different topics, which means how you prepare the pie, but also how you find the money to have the pie. So how you eat them. Do you eat them with fingers, or do you use spoon or forks? Uh, so this is very important because actually using this six questions it's a way to explore all the ideas all the relationship you can find between words and at the end maybe find a way that's something you hadn't an idea about initially when you think about the pipe will be actually a component of a potential idea